logging trucks may need to be chained up in steep, slippery or muddy conditions. Handling tire chains is a common mechanism for injury for truck drivers. It can place the lower back or the shoulder at risk of injury. Chains can weigh as much as 80 pounds, especially if they are caked in mud. They are often handled in slippery surfaces and awkward positions requiring reaching up and under truck fenders. The following is some recommendations to mitigate the risk of injury. When offloading chains from the storage rack, lift the chain off in part segments and lay the chain straight on the ground. This will help to reduce the weight requirement when lifting in this elevated position. It will also help to ensure a proper grip is used on the chains prior to lifting them onto the tire. If the chains are stuck on the racks and the worker attempts to lift the entire chain off the rack, a jarring force of up to 80 pounds may be placed on the shoulders. In addition, racks can be high on the truck. Lifting off them may require shoulder shrugging or may require the worker to come up onto their toes, causing an unstable base. Lifting from the rack places asymmetrical force on the body, as seen here. Laying the chains flat out on the ground allows the driver to lift the chains how they are going to place them on the tyre. It allows the correct hand spacing on the chain and the worker is able to ensure a good wrist and hand position. Lifting from the ground allows a safe and predictable lift with good footing and a stable body position. Refer to the guidelines for lifting at the end of this resource. Use both hands to grip the chains when carrying. Maintain a neutral wrist position. Keep the wrist straight and do not overly extend. Keep your chin tucked in and the shoulders pulled back and down. When carrying, keep the chains close to your body. Maintain a 30% abdominal muscle contraction to help stabilize the spine. Walk with small, slow steps and be mindful of slip hazards and uneven terrain. Drop the chains if tripping or falling. Do not attempt to suddenly stop or fall while holding on to the chains. Use both hands when fitting and placing chains. Maintain a neutral wrist position when reaching. Keep wrists straight and do not extend. Bring your body and the chains close to the tire to reduce the reaching distance. Keep your chin tucked in and the shoulders pulled back and down. Bend at the knees and step into the tire to create some momentum. Avoid bending your lower back forward. Keep your lower back straight and pivot from the hips. Maintain an abdominal contraction while placing the chains. Once the chains are positioned on the first tire of the dually, flip the front half of the chain over the second tire and then adjust the back half of the chain in two separate movements. Ensure that the chain will move freely by separating the two chain edges. Taking two separate movements reduces the strain on the back, the shoulders and the neck and allows optimal body position when reaching under the fender for the second tire. It is best to get the body position under the fender when able maintaining a chin tuck and shoulder blades back and down than overreaching with the arms. General guidelines for lifting. Analyze the lift. What are the hazards? Use a wide base of support on a stable and level surface. Check for water, mud, ice and other debris. If necessary, wiggle your feet to get a firm base of support. Contract your abdominal muscles 30% and breathe. Keep the weight close to your body. Keep your chin tucked and the shoulders pulled back and down. Bend from your knees and hips, keeping your feet flat on the ground. Try to maintain a neutral, slightly extended lower back position, and then lift with your legs. Do not twist while lifting. Repeat extension exercises in standing or lying before and after you bend. Exercises should be done in a repetition of 10 held for 2 seconds as opposed to a sustained hold.